Hello! Any time of year is a great time of year to freshen up your website. Hi, I'm David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft and I want to help you design a better website. Any time of year is a good time to freshen up your website because it allows you to keep building your brand. Uh, you always want to be moving forward and making your brand better uh, and just dialing it in, if you will. Uh, so today I have an example for you, a before and after for Modern Rustic Homes. And we're going to talk about specifically design and layout and how we were able to freshen up their website. Uh, currently you're looking at a screenshot uh, of the previous uh, homepage. And we're going to walk through and talk about some of the things that we're going to do to freshen it up. And then I'm going to show you the results. First of all, one of the easiest things you can do to freshen up your website in terms of the design and layout is photography. So the, the first thing you see is this big banner across the top of the page. We're going to change that out and add something fresh uh, there, something new and exciting. So when visitors come back, especially if they've seen this website several times, we want to give them something to, new to look at and something in the future. So we're going to change out that photo at the top. Also, you'll notice that we don't have a call to action here at the top. Uh, in this particular case, the company is quite mature and we don't really want that call to action at the top. We want to keep things very clean and actually very linear. So we want them to find out more information about the company and the business before we uh, give them an opportunity to engage. Uh, this big block of uh, copy here you know it, it it's okay I mean I love the background image but the block it's spanning the whole page and it, there's a lot of words per line so we wanna we wanna shorten that up and also we wanna rewrite the copy so we have something new to read uh, there's only so many times that you can read this uh, before you're gonna get bored right so let's freshen up the copy while we're at it uh, and then you know again here's here's a photo here and there's several other photos on the part so we want to change those photos out and we have a featured text over here on the right uh, design and build so we want to consolidate those and just maybe make it a design build copy uh, another thing is we see we have these buttons here the, the portfolio about the design so again we want to clean those up we actually want to remove those different buttons from the page and then just have a single call to action at the bottom of the page after the customers had a chance to read the story and you know decide that they want to engage uh, so again here's another photo that we could change out and another button so this is the third different type of call to action on the page again you know we can consolidate that and give them a single path of engagement uh, and in this section here the remodeling they're not even offering remodeling right now so we're going to just get rid of this section entirely uh, our team section definitely could use some more work here. Uh, there's a couple things missing. One is we're not talking about what their what their level of experience is uh, or the accreditations that they have. Again, the, the type is going all the way across the page. And so instead of being long single lines, we want to we want to break that up and either put it in a half column or or two thirds or something smaller. And then yet there's we haven't this is now I think our fourth or fifth call to action that is different than what we want the customer actually to do or what the customer may want to do and then the bottom section here we have a separate landing page for the big canoe so we don't even need this on the home page at all so we want to get rid of that okay so now that we've talked about a lot of the things that we want to do to change this home page I'm going to show you the results of what we've got accomplished so here's the new home page and immediately you can see this is a beautiful photograph. We even made it taller in size so it actually covers up more of the area above the fold so you get a really good sense of what this builder is capable of doing. And we also picked this image because there was some an abstract photo here of the chimney with these reds, the shades of reds, which really go well with the uh, with the text color that we're using. So it's just another one of those little tiny elements that blends in and makes the design and the layout really work together. Um, we do have a little call to action here, but it just simply just kind of brings the content up the page, which is 
which is something that we didn't have before. So again, another of those little tiny uh, elements that make everything better. And you can see here now we have a banner here, uh, sustainable, comfort, comfortable, and in, enduring quality finishes and a partnership that pleases. So these are what's at stake for the customer. This is the value that Modern Rustic Homes is adding to their to their customers and so that's really important to get those values right up front at the top uh, this next section this is a very awesome photo that we've added and we swapped out so not only is it a different picture but it really looks great and we changed the layout here so from a, a 50 50 split we've gone to a two-thirds one-third and then we consolidated that copy like we mentioned so now we just have one section this design and build process and there's just a few words here they don't span all the way across the page and it's just communicating with the customer what the belief systems are communication convenience and, and confidence building the home you want um, so I think that could really speak and empathize with the customer the next section here is just a little bit from the de the designer the home designer and it's about inspiration uh, so it's your lifestyle uh, the home site the architectural expression the materials so it's the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something especially to do something creative so we wanted to put this definition in there again because it can relate to the type of homes that the home builder is building for his customers and you can also notice in the background we have this nice uh, gradient uh, from kind of an, an olive green but from a dark to a light gradient again just a very subtle um, touch in the design and the colors also match in with the photos that we've chosen in the next section here we this was the team section on the old on the previous page and now we really have some accreditation and experience that we can show uh, from the top the timber home living uh, modern rustic homes has been featured many times in this magazine they've also been uh, you know presented in the today's builder television show so we thought that was really important to get that on there and they're actually also nationally recognized uh, by house for their quality of design so these are some really important things that that you need to know about this this company about the that the customers need to know and in the bottom here is our single button you know read our design and build process so they really want their customers to understand what the process is before they get to engage you know so in this case there's a single call to action at the bottom of the page and we're not cluttering up the design and presentation of the entire home page with a whole bunch of buttons uh, it's very very you know clean and simple in terms of the design and layout so uh, so now I want to tell you about some other things that we have done uh, to the website and then we can talk a little bit about some of the other things that we can do to continue to improve their their brand and their design and layout uh, we also added a new a new galleries page so this is actually a photo galleries page which we're going to add to the menu uh, we haven't added it to the menu so that's something that we want to do this particular page and we want to relabel this photo galleries uh, but this is these are clickable and each one of these goes into a separate photo gallery of the different types of rooms so as we've added project galleries we're also able to resort the images so that we can create photo galleries so now the visitors can click on the great rooms and they can come here and here's an entire collage of great rooms uh, photos people really love to see uh, what the potential is for their their home so those are those are all the uh, the great rooms there and if we go back and I'm always interested in in these I think these pictures are fabulous of the bathroom gallery uh, so you can go here and click and then you can uh, scroll through this gallery of bathrooms so so this is some new things that we've added to the website we just got to get them into the uh, the menu up at the top uh, maybe open them in the same page um, instead of opening up a new tab maybe we can keep those there and and those are the main things that we're looking at so just some little improvements there uh, also in our blog section 
what we want to do is go ahead and make we're not using this space on the right so we want to go ahead and make this a three column page so that our blog posts get over there uh, we, we've also been working on adding a podcast uh, so this is we record the podcast then we come back and put the uh, transcription into the website and you can see the important five L's of housing so that was a podcast that we created and added to the website uh, another thing we want to do is build, design and build a podcast landing page so that we can add that to the menu so people can see that there is a podcast and click and go there and read about the podcast. And then the blog itself is going to become a written version including the actual audio of the podcast. And, and in addition, we want to add the, the Apple icon down at the bottom so that people can go click and go join the podcast there and you can see we have the playback here for the podcast um, so those are some of the other things that we're going to continue to do to improve the design and layout and the branding of this website so remember this is David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft and any time of year is a great time to refresh your website update those photos rewrite your copy uh, present something new to your customers dial it in a little bit more with your call to action tell your story of your company so you can empathize with your customers and just keep moving forward with that so uh, this is again the Davis Grubb from Shepherd's Loft I want to help you design a better website